Howdy folks, hope you're doing well and staying safe. I promise I will not do any more German. If you've seen the uh, U69 update review, you'll understand. Um, where to begin? So I am noticing as I go higher up the tier, this is getting a little bit harder. Uh, the two major weaknesses are still there. One, Hydro, even at the lowest depth, you can be seen now from, you know, the moon. Two, the same with uh, the uh, the actual submarine Hydro. The submarines, in my opinion, as I'm here at tier 8 with the U190, which, by the way, became HMCS U190 when she surrendered to the Canadian forces after the war. I'm, I'm really going to say you, submarines should now be standoff. You should not be rushing in unless you know that the person you're playing against in the hydro ships and whatnot is bad. I, I, I'm willing to bet you down the road they're even going to make it at periscope depth that radar can see you. But as it stands right now, I would say those are two main vulnerabilities you have. And a third might be aircraft because I'm now dealing with two aircraft carriers in this game. And guess what? One's a tier 8 and the other's a tier 10. So, you know, yippee ki -yay. Let's get into it. So, armor layout. I believe she's 19 mil. Yep, 19 mil. Still paper thin. 15.4, just a little bit better than tier 6. Sonar, 6.5 six second ping reload. 500 meters and 12.5 kilometers, which means it's just over 24 seconds to do the whole thing. It's kind of interesting. You got four tubes in the front and two in the back. You don't want to be going in circles. So, if you look at the torpedoes, the pinging one... Has got uh, well, that one's actually straight on. It's 6.3 for the point blank one, and no pinging, and 13 uh, kilometers range for the other one. And of course, 62 knots and 81 knots, respectively. I'll get more on that a bit later. 250 units of diving, one unit per second. Maneuverability on the surface, 30.5. 480 meters and 2.6 rudder ship is great in the surface. Underwater, she drops down to 13.6. 6.5 rudder shift and 3.2 meters per second of diving and ascending capacity. Make sure you pay attention to that. Uh, 5.6 for range, which is still all submarines have low range. Detectability by air is 2.1 kilometers. So be careful. Equipment, I do everything sub. So sonar modification one, that's important to me. Engine room protection. I'm, yes, you could take main arm modification, but I'm not. So engine room protection. And then, of course, you have torpedo tube modification. Submarine steering gears modification and number three, I take everything that's built to do torpedoes and the sub to make it better. Damage control party, 557. Uh, hydro for ship, seven kilometer range, 30 seconds at last and 76 second cooldown. Now, submarine surveillance, nine kilometers, 60 second and 114 seconds to reload. And the air course, your reserve battery unit, which lasts 30 seconds and you have two charges. Torpedoes here, so you look at the ones that are straightforward, 6.3 kilometers, 12,500 damage, but 1.9 for detectability, 62 kilometers for speed. These ones right here, the acoustic homing ones, they are just under 8,600 damage, 81 knots, and whatnot. So detectability, I think, was uh, two, seconds, two and change. Uh, standard camo for me, pretty straightforward. Going to Luntens, same build as I do all the time. I take enhanced sonar, liquidator, and of course, helmsman. Priority target. You are definitely going to want last stand because you're going to get hit nowadays. Enhance impulse generator. Sonar expert. Improved. And of course, engine propeller shaft. That's important to me. The 18% speed boost helps. Over, like I said earlier, they're standoff boats to me. You want to make sure that uh, you're going to stay late in the game and not die in the first two or three minutes. You have the range of torpedoes with the homing ones on anybody out here. You cannot be hydroed. You can uh, not be hydroed by any of that, by the submarine or by a ship. So stay out of range. This is me jumping the turpits with the, as I say that, stay out of range. I'm going to go point blank at this turpits with my uh, my non-acoustic homing ones because he's turning into me. So Anyway, it's a great thing to see. This is what the non-acoustic ones are for. Then this is how you do it. I was going to shoot them by acoustic, but I didn't. Overall, I still like submarines. I love them, actually. I think they're a lot of fun. But you got to be very careful with them. This is uh, late in the game. With these. Yeah, there's 12 minutes left in the game. So it's pretty late. Actually, do I actually switch here to the other ones? I can't remember now. Commander, we've been detected. I do not. That's why he lived. But here's Point Black. Good example. You can still use acoustic ones. And I'll go down and do what I want. Oh, I thought I did. Guess I was wrong. My bad. Direct front. Uh, but overall, I, I do love submarines still, and I'm still going to use them. And uh, I think they're fun. They're just a new way of playing. So, as always in the comments, let me know. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, do you still like playing subs? Do you hate them? Because I'm kind of curious. You either love them or hate them. But as always, take care.